So John, it's, it's 10 years obviously since uh, See The Stars won 2,000 guineas at Newmarket in what was a remarkable season. That memory must still be quite fresh in your mind, is it? Well, it is, of course. Yes, you don't. <laughs> you wouldn't forget a horse like him. And the year he had, it was tremendous uh, that it went so well, you know, that he... Uh, he could win all those races and we didn't have a hiccup along the way. It was it was a bit of a dream, really. We were very lucky that everything went so well. But of course, he was a phenomenal racehorse. He, you know, it was it was easy for him to win those races. You know, he, he just had so much ability to spare. He was um, just a great horse to train. It was a privilege to have him, really a great experience to have a horse like that uh, under your care and a and, uh, bit of a nerve-wracking thing in one way particularly at the end you know when we didn't want him to get ever get beaten and uh, want him to win win the arc I'm old enough to remember Nijinsky who was you know, a hero of mine and you know we were all heartbroken when he didn't win the the arc um, so it was important for him to win all his races uh, because he had the ability you know he we knew he was a star and that that he, he needed to you know have his name carved in stone, so it was a bit of a responsibility to get him there, but uh, it was a great experience for us all. Yeah, and uh, do you ever pop down to Giltown to see him at all? Yes, I haven't, uh, haven't seen him uh, much in the last year, but um, I do, yes, no, I've, I, I, I go to see him uh, from time to time, particularly when we have uh, other clients who want to see him, and uh, Giltown, of course, have uh, done have done a great job in uh, looking after him and uh, looking after all the people that queue up to come to see him so uh, they've had uh, uh, they're part of the tourist industry now uh, not something they might have uh, expected in the beginning but uh, they've been very helpful to everyone who has, who has come to see him because he's quite still quite an attraction and it's a tough question this but in the 10 years since that amazing season, have you seen another horse that you would think would be as good as him? I mean, Frankel is the obvious one, but have you seen another horse you think could beat him? Uh, no, no. Frankel obviously is there. He's, he's one of the all-time greats as well. It was phenomenal to have two horses of that calibre uh, come one after another. Frankel was more spectacular, wasn't he? he, he he'd, you know, he'd win by 11 lengths rather than 10 if he could, whereas see, the Stars would win by half a length rather than two lengths you know but uh, but that's the way they're all different and uh, I never tried to compare them at all uh, people love to s sit around and argue over who's the best I've no interest in that <laughs> I think we were just very very blessed and lucky uh, we were to have had one of the greats and Frankel is another one of them and uh, it was a great experience to watch him as well and Henry Cecil the way he trained him handled them it was marvellous the whole thing we had to have two of them in, in quick succession but it goes like that you know you could wait another 20 25 years and maybe then you'll have another couple again so but they're not they're not uh, they're not frequent you know in a space of 100 years you don't have too many like that <laughs>